Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, welcome to IALTS speaking test part three. So my name is Muhammad Sofyan Arif as the examiner and I got um, Rangga Dwi Putra here as the examiner. So let's start. For the first question, should people go in for sports more? Yes, definitely. Sports should be an essential part of everyone's life. Doing sport not only is good for your health and keeps our bodies fit and active, but it also helps you to be in a good mood. So people should certainly train more. Okay, next question. Which sport is the best for people who aren't used to work out? Mm, in my point of view, everyone should start with light trainings, maybe jogging or brisk walking every day. It's okay to avoid strenuous exercise for the first few months because the first thing be beginner need is consistency in exercising. Okay, so third question. How can a beginner know the ideal sport for them? Mm, this is a tough question, but I would, I would like to say the main reason is that it's difficult for beginners to find the perfect sport. For example, if you don't like football or basketball, that doesn't mean you won't like badminton. The important thing for them to know is don't be afraid to try something new so you can find your ideal sport. Okay. Next question. How can parents encourage their children to do more sports? Uh, I think Children who regularly see their parents enjoying sport and physically active are more likely to do so on their own. With the way parents play with their children, of course, it will help children to learn new sport or other physical activities or just have fun together with a walk, hike, or a bike ride. Right, so this is the last question. What can everyone learn from sports? Uh, it depends on what they want to learn. For example, children playing football and basketball means they want to learn about teamwork, time management, and stress management. While those who play chess or monopoly both can improve their skills and shape their mentality. Okay, um, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the IELTS speaking test part 3. My name is Rangga Dwi Putra as the examiner and I got Muhammad Sofian Arif as the examiner today. So let's get started. I got the first question for you, Sofian. What kind of art do you enjoy? So um, I like digital art. I often go to Pinterest or Pixiv or any other free website to see many ama um, amazing digital artworks from lots of artists. I really like digital art about space or universe stuff because it gave me um, feelings of amazement, excitement, and curiosity. Okay, so why do people enjoy digital art? I think people enjoy digital art because it stimulates their hearts and minds to appreciate their lives in a more positive light. People enjoy art also because it makes them feel different and alters the, their mood so that they feel free to travel into a different realm. Which one is better, digital art or traditional art? Well, that's a good question. Um, I personally would choose digital art because with digital tools, we can create, create art with less time and more detail. But I wouldn't say traditional art isn't good. They have advantages such as cheaper and more flexible. In conclusion, digital art and traditional art both are good. Now it came back to us. Do we feel more comfortable using digital art or traditional art? Okay. 
do you think learning digital art is necessary for students? Yes, because art integration in schools equips students with certain skills that will be useful and vital to succeed in an uncertain future such as creativity and innovative thinking. I think today's era is perfect for introducing digital art to children, the era where technology is developing. Do you think digital art can replace traditional art? Well, even, even though it is clear that digital art is on the rise, I think it will never completely replace traditional art. It is true that the digital art is used today in many fields and creative processes, but the need of original and unique traditional art will never be entirely abandoned or replaced. If a person wants to possess a piece of art with tremendous value, it will need to be original, authentic, and one of a kind, which describes traditional art perfectly. A traditional artist can create something that can never be perfectly replicated. What the hand of the true artist can produce simply cannot be despised in the same way digitally. Okay. Okay. This is the, our last question for you today. So thank you for coming, Sofian. Yes, thank you for having me, Ranga. Okay, you're welcome.